everybody welcome to our channel today I wanted to uh, talk about a topic um, that comes up quite frequently with the consultations that I do it's about uh, renewing your permanent resident card if you are living and residing outside of Canada I get a lot of clients who call me and they are permanent residents of Canada but for different reasons they haven't uh, been living in Canada and uh, they want to renew their permanent resident card. Either their card has expired many years ago or it just recently expired, um, but they cannot come back and wait in Canada um, or they can't travel to Canada uh, because they don't have a, a travel document. So there is the option to file for the PR card renewal while you are living outside Canada, but it's important to understand the consequences of that because there's a chain reaction that can happen um, of various uh, things and depending on that it could even if you get your card renewed you might not be able to keep your permanent resident status uh, so we're going to talk about that a little bit today so first um, if you renew you submit your application for PR card renewal you're living outside Canada um, and maybe you meet the residency requirement or you don't and you're filing under humanitarian grounds let's say either way uh, you file for the renewal and it's refused uh, what's gonna happen at this point is that at the moment you get the refusal you're not you don't lose your permanent resident status but if you want to keep it, you're going to have to file an appeal at the Immigration Appeal Division. Usually you have a timeline of 30 days or 60 days to file that appeal. And if you do not file the appeal, then after that deadline, you will lose your permanent residence status. Um, so filing the appeal, you can still be outside Canada. You're going to file. Uh, it's, a, it's a letter that you submit uh, to the Immigration Appeal Division saying that you want to file an appeal of the refusal. And sometime later, it could be quite a long time if there's a backlog at the Immigration Appeal Division, maybe six months later or a year later or two years later, sometimes longer, you're going to get a hearing date. During that time, you can be outside or inside Canada, but it depends if you're able to return to Canada. So while you wait for your appeal, you're st you will still remain a permanent resident of Canada because a final negative determination has not be been made on your permanent resident status. And when the time for the appeal comes, you'll be able to argue humanitarian and compassionate grounds as to why you deserve to, to keep your permanent resident status. If that decision is refused, then at that point you lose your permanent resident status uh, unless you file an application um, an application for leave and judicial review at the Federal Court of Canada. You have 15 days to do that. Um, now, if you apply for the renewal of your card, you're outside Canada and you're Renewal is approved and you get a letter saying your card has now been issued. You have to come and pick it up. This is a bit problematic for some of our clients because only the client, only you can go and pick up your card. You have to go and physically pick up your card at an immigration office. And in a way, this is something that immigration does. I don't know why they do it exactly, but it could be so that some people lose their status. Uh, it's a little bit of a tricky situation because if you can't pick it up in person, um, then you could eventually lose your permanent resident status because you were not able to, to pick up your card. So you get a letter saying you can now pick up your card. Immigration will not mail the card to you. You cannot give a mandate to somebody to go pick it up for you. So for that, if you're outside Canada, how will you pick up your card? So either you have to apply for a travel document, but in some cases um, it will not be issued to you. You can apply for a travel document on humanitarian and compassionate grounds, uh, but depending on, on the reasons why you were outside, uh, you might not get the travel document. Or if um, you're able to if you are in the United States, you can come in from the U.S. border to Canada with your confirmation of permanent residence. Uh, but at the border, uh, if you haven't met your residency requirement, there are some officers that will issue a removal order. Um, and if you get a removal order, you have 30 days to file an appeal. If you don't file the appeal, then you lose your permanent resident um, status. So it could be quite tricky. Um, then another thing that could happen is you apply for the renewal of your card, you're outside Canada and you get a letter saying, well, you have to come in for an interview. Um, either you come for the interview, if you can't come, you have to apply for a travel document, or if you don't want to come, 
then you have to um, let us know and we'll make a decision based on the evidence that you provided. This is also very tricky because often if you don't show up for that interview, then your PR card renewal application will be refused. And again, you have 30 days to file an appeal at the Immigration Appeal Division to, to keep your status. So that's also a little bit of a tricky situation that IRCC can, can put applicants in. And finally, another um, another scenario would be, and I've seen this many times with our clients, is that you apply for the PR card renewal and then you get a letter from IRCC saying, we are placing your application, your renewal application on hold. Um, you have to apply for a travel document. So they kind of put the burden on the embassy outside Canada to make a determination on your residency. So you have to make a similar application for a travel document and it's the embassy or the consulate outside of Canada that's going to make the decision. And if again, if the decision is refused, you have you have 30 days or 60 days to file an appeal at the Immigration Appeal Division to be able to keep um, your permanent resident status. So there's a lot of different scenarios and there's a lot of ways that things can go. So it's really important if you're going to engage in this type of application, renewing your car while you're outside, maybe not being able to be physically in Canada, you really have to get the right legal advice. It's quite complex. There's a lot of immigration applications where you can do it by yourself. You don't need a lawyer, but this type of situation, it's really recommended you speak to an expert because you can waste a lot of money. You can waste a lot of time. And if you are a permanent resident in, of Canada and it's really important for you to keep that status and you consider Canada to be your only home, it's important that you get the right information to see which pathway you're going to take. and. And depending on what happens, you have the right information um, to act uh, the way uh, to ensure that you keep your permanent resident status. If you have any questions about the, this particular topic, uh, you can send us an email. It's info at keyorkimmigrationlaw.com. Thank you.